What's up guys, it's Shana and today we're going to check out Sawtel Duplex Units in Cyber Jaya. Let's go! Turning in from Putrajaya Cyber Jaya Expressway, which is the main highway, uh, once you come in, located right next to Putrajaya Lake, we have this series of low rise apartments and this stretch of high rise apartments. Within this very, very discreet location, and if you look from a drone shot of it, you have that lake view, you have very matured landscape treatments. But if you pay closer attention, right next to this project itself, when we come in, it felt a little bit eerie because of the immediate project that is abandoned. Well, that's the first impression, but when we come into the project, of course, there's still a guard house in place and we just parked right at the roadside in front of the building so this place then will have different typologies of high-rise all together because the price of land is different that's why you can see the blocks are actually stretched out right then you have open car park all around there will be the residence car park within and you can have this luxury garden all together these are all part of the project as well and look at the amount of trees wow So just now from the car park area, when we walk in, there will be an entrance and there will be a portable table. It's not a security point as per se, but that's the main entrance into the building. And we come into the lift lobby, it's rather narrow. Then coming up, we are now in the lift lobby and it's a duplex format. This is 1.5 meters in width and this is 5.85 in ceiling height. So all units here within this project itself is all duplexes which is kind of nice right you get this verticality but then right in front this will all be the utilities and just now this was left ajar apparently this is the only unit <laughs> that has people right now lah yeah, the rest you don't even have water meters in place and this will be the floor layout and two Leaves will be servicing eight units of duplexes in total, and the corridors is actually a single loaded corridor, so you get quite a nice privacy. That's why there will be these two units, right, where the corridor connects directly into the main door. So this one, then the privacy level is not as great, lah, unfortunately. So within the leaf lobby itself, uh, there are certain levels of coverage in terms of window, so at least the leaf lobby will not be wet but the further end of the units right they are all open and you get to access the unit without any partition of a fire door this will be one unit two three four and looking upwards right this will be the window access for the upstairs bedroom and that will be the windows for the bathrooms already so for intermediates you will have the aircon compressors located halfway through for the corner units you will have a dedicated aircon latch outside coming up from the corridor here then you have an extra corridor between the lanes this one could have been avoided but i think this is dedicated just for the kerbo sampa which is the refuse chamber so wow so fancy so you look into it's all tiles unfortunately there's no ram here then you will have tiles halfway the rest then is the emulsion pane you will have a ceiling and it comes with a ventilation panel like this for smell purposes so it's directly accessible to the open air but this view then it's nice you can see it's all low rise around but just that because it's situated next to the highway and with the very quiet surrounding the sound is actually very very obvious and the main problem with this form of architecture right where you have a very high ceiling will be the exposure to the external elements especially rain so they actually have this laid out like that so it actually provides shades from sunlight also from rain to a certain degree but when the wind is strong right the whole corridor will be wet lah. that's why you can see the doors right all are pretty much damaged already that's why i'm not too sure whether the aircon compressors at the side here will work or not anyway this will be the unit i'm going to check out today anyway this will be the unit layout we are currently in type b and it's 753 square feet two bedroom one bathroom unit well it's debatable how they calculate bedrooms here but anyway when you come in from the door you have the bathroom immediately at the side 
going through the kitchen and this will be the line of the void up front here will be the living room then you will have the staircase going upwards into the bedroom upstairs and this front here will be the facade line and the only difference between type A and type B will be the additional air con latch at the side if not mistaken well let's go check it out coming in through the door this is a fire rated door and the clearance is 870 mm when we come in because it's a duplex there will be a lower ceiling in the front where the width here is 2.3 and the height is 2.45 but the ceiling gets higher as we progress further into the unit and check it out this is awesome right this will be the living and the staircase going upwards before that this will be the dining they haven't installed a tv just yet and this will be the kitchen what an absolute contrast to what we see from the outside right but first of all there will be a bathroom here in the bottom so going straight in this will be the shower area already and this is the window accessing to the common corridor outside then you will have the basin here and that will be the wc by zila there is full height wall tiles you will have the water heater that's installed later by the owner but just that i would prefer if there is a mechanical ventilation system rather than windows lah. because if this needs to be window i would suggest it's higher because as a short person like this also i also can somewhat <laughs> coming out from the bathroom then i realized that this wall to wall width is very very comfortable is around 3.9 to 4 meters based on my measurements is 3.9 and this kitchen panel is set in an L shape and the width here is 1.6 and the length is 2.7 so it's a very comfortable kitchen altogether so this is furnished by the makeover guys unfortunately it's hindered by this pillar here I would have done it differently but we'll talk about that later okay anyway this will be the location of the washer and dryer because there's no yard within the unit layout this will be the basin the location of your hood and hob top cabinet bottom cabinet and you will have some obvious structural members around this area but what i like is that there will be a floor trap in the center so if there's any spillage right from the laundry or from the washing it can flow there nice very rare really we get to see these kind of treatments that is located next to the dining area and this will be the hero space altogether right when you go look outwards mm. because when you just walk through the space like that wow it just opens up everything and just look at the view this will be the putra jaya lake and you have the signature office buildings already you have the signature bridges as well nice very very nice and look into the amount of greeneries here so if you look into the apartments right down there all the cyber views residents they have direct access to the lake like this is so awesome anyway the ceiling height is six meters and the width of the staircase is actually one meter so it leaves three meters for the living space and this will be the location of the tv la. technically just now i would have tried to tell my engineer to somewhat build this to tie into the wall instead maybe i can start my staircase a bit earlier so that push me up to a level where i can tie the structural member into both the walls so i can eliminate this beam that's definitely something i would do but this is a whole different feeling all together because we recently also just checked out a newly vp building where the upper floor is actually attached to the facade instead of to the inner walls i prefer this more because you get opportunities like this so you get to have an opening look at the window panel at the top and it's not only one side yeah it's also opened at the corner itself so it's going to be fabulous is it going to be hot entirely up to you <laughs> but this will be the location of the aircon anyway so they actually just furnish the curtains this side if you don't put a full size curtain like that it's going to cost a bomb and within duplex heights like this right it's always a playground for the designers to play around the fixtures but just look at this right at night it's going to look very romantic awesome however it's going to be a debate whether do i conceal the space underneath the staircase for storage purposes technically in this kind of setting it will be for a couple or even people going solo this is 
very very comfortable but i still do think that if it's a storage right it would make more sense if not where do i put my mop where do i put my luggage back to be inside ma so if you were to look into the property portals right a unit like this 753 square feet freehold unit costs around 280 to 300 thousand and the ongoing rate for rent is actually thousand two to thousand five per month just imagine if you were to work in Cyberjaya, if you were to work in Putrajaya. In terms of value, this is superb because of the view that I get. Like seriously, if I don't need to be in the city all the time, I work from home. Why don't I enjoy views like this every day? And this is a L-shaped window because this connects to the aircon latch. This is the difference between type A and B all together. Anyway, going upwards, this is a steel staircase with timber flooring okay going upwards that's why if concealed right then it's actually more comfortable for the residents and going in this will be the upper floor bedroom coming up to the stairs then this will be the bedroom the only bedroom for the unit and it comes with a partition actually so you will have a curb here and you have the window panels technically it could have just been a half wall or steel handrails to have real openness right well this is a different format altogether so the wall to wall width here is around 2.9 because 100 mm is taken up by the internal wall and the length is around 3.5 for the bedroom so you can put in the king size bed you can still comfortably fit in two bedside tables here and what's nice is that you have a very comfortable height of 2.9 meters for the upper floor so usually on a duplex unit right this will be compromised so a lot of duplex unit cannot actually put in fan but this one can comfortably put in one and this comes with the window panel so you somewhat still have privacy but i don't know why because technically you will be the same owner maybe when you have friends around lah, then you will be very very noisy not too bad i like this concept and for the floorings you will have tiles and this will be the small little corner for your dressing area lah. this is then the opening that opens into the common area so this is very rare i don't see these treatments a lot but then here you get to really see that who is coming into your unit hey my boyfriend come back already <laughs> but definitely one thing i like is the two bathrooms all together because if not usually when the user need to go downstairs and use the bathroom right ah leche this one it comes with two bathroom and i like it so you have a basin here quite a sizable one with the wc the shower area will be this side and you have the window connecting outwards for ventilation full height wall tiles decent then in terms of plug points you have quite a number of them actually which is nice you have two here you have one corner here which can perfectly put in a sideboard here this will be very nice and this will be the wall for the tv as well for the upper floor so this is going to have your tv console if you want to well this kind of summarizes my thought of having the duplex on the inner wall instead of the facade line i like this configuration better way better but just that such format of duplex needs to be really matching the target audience because Think about it right 753 square feet for a two person user so it's going to be a couple or one person in that sense then this is actually very very luxurious because on the current affordable schemes introduced by the government 750 square feet is already a three bedroom unit with two bathrooms already so it's going to be a family usage really for such a build up and you can see units like this, designs of duplexes like this within several different locations. Some work, some didn't, but most of them located within the urban areas like Monkara, Gocheras, those perform pretty well where you have a lot of expats, people who have high budget for accommodation and they seek quality of space instead of quantity this works for them but if you come into suburb area where people prioritize more of the quantity aspect of space instead of the quality right then this wouldn't work as much but as always configuration like this are playgrounds for interior designers so i think this is a fabulous job altogether especially when you have a common area that is pretty old right you can see it's pretty used when you come into the room totally different world and look at the view amazing very very nice and a different perspective to this project is also when you are not required to be in the city why do you need to spend a lot more money on 
accommodation, more money on the lodging. When you can have a room like this for 1000 to 1005 perfectly fine as a person. You can work from home and when you need to travel to office maybe once every week, right? Why don't stay slightly further away instead of paying very high rent to be in the city? Most likely it's going to be for lifestyle, okay? You know? So coming up from the leaf, we are now in the common area and it's located between blocks. So in total, there will be four blocks. So the areas between blocks will be the areas for common facilities. Walking outwards then, we are now located next to a swimming pool. So this is a rather short one and you look into the condition, it's not properly maintained. Unfortunately, you will have a lot of broken tiles within. Anyway, the pool will be surrounded by planter box altogether. So you have all these spaces and this will be the multi-purpose hall. But just that I don't like the levelings of the pool versus the unit. So you need to come down to come up. It could have just been done or designed better. In that case, if this is the same level, the multi-purpose hall view is going to be solid but looking at this right this project really have elements of luxury that we can only wish for within the urban setting that lush open area for our kids or ourselves to just run around and on this side of the orientation facing the lake right like this is the background of your swimming pool it's so peaceful and you only hear bird sound you don't get the traffic noise at all anyway that's an indication of the depth of the pool because anything deeper than this you need to have a lifeguard on duty all the time so that's some design hack in total for the whole project right there's only 128 units all together so it's a very very low density project and located right behind this will be the very unfortunate reality where you have an abandoned project behind so as a neighbor of the project you kind of feel sad because it kind of hinders the impression of the site altogether when you drive past it when we access the site it's actually even worse for the buyers itself so they're actually paying for things that they cannot live within I'm so glad that the government now has this HDA which protects us from things like this already. So from the in-between tower space to the other in-between tower space, right, we need to pass by some of these units located at the facility floor. And this is also pretty cool. Technically, they would have a view towards the architecture, but now it becomes quite creepy. And this is the original condition actually. So the empty actually came empty. And the unit is also open to the common corridor which is unusual, uh, very unusual. Then as we walk across, the common corridor seems very delightful, the width is nice. Technically, you can cover the landscape area better but I think maintenance cost is an issue right now. You have a lot of planter box, all heavily furnished with pebble wash. Luckily, they did pebble wash so you don't have to maintain so bad. This is actually a treatment area. You have shops within and now you have a mini mart here. So this supposedly to be retails for the convenience of the residents. And something to take note also, like the air jet sound seems to be very apparent within this project. Anyway, this is a pathway connecting to the other block. I think maybe it's a different phase altogether. There will be a Sepa Takro Kelanggang, the court. And that's again something very, very rare. Because the spot itself, right, not everyone plays the spot. I can't but this partition wall seems to be built as an afterthought eh? because it looks like it maybe when they construct this they were built by stages so when only when it connects they open up I think so within this stretch then you get to see a little bit more people who live within these are the garden units and they seem awesome la. and you just think about it right if the rent is like that and this unit costs about 280,000 very very nice and if they were to work in Cyber Jaya or Putra Jaya even better and now we are at ground floor which is kind of like their elevated car park right and coming out from the leaf lobby the, okay first of all the leaf lobby is not as extensive in scale you have only two leaves right so it's pretty direct and we come out to the car park this is it so the minimum height there is 2.65 and because of the building topology being short right you have openings on both sides so you can really feel the cross ventilation very nice plus they use the van blocks to promote more ventilation that's nice and this is the back so this was supposed to be a completed well done architecture but 
too bad. Then for flooring, you have cement screening all the way. Because of the density of the project, you have conventional structural elements, beam and columns. Wow, this beam seems rather thick. And at the front, then it will be very comfortable where you are pretty much at ground floor actually. So this is the experience of car park. Very nice, very resort feel, very low dense and ample of space. So what I'm very curious about right now will be the boundary of the project. So this seems like the boundary of it. But this is technically supposed to be connected but then they kind of put restriction to it. I'm not too sure what's the arrangement of things. Then like if this is not connected right, the green area and spaces are actually connected. So are these area government maintained or it falls under specific strata management or it falls under specific joint management bodies i don't know <laughs> But within proximity, this seems to be the highest block already And because of that, just now we get that tremendous awesome view just now But this open area is seriously nice So within the open field, there will be some elements of playground But unfortunately, it's not well maintained And that's again my question Is this under the local authority as common area between projects? Or is it part within the boundary of individual projects? I am not sure at all But it's very comfortable very nice. This is only something that we can think about within the urban setting, right? Trees are really matured. Oof. And what's amazing right now will be the boundary lines that is very blurred between different projects. Like, are they all under one same developer? Or are they all under one master plan? I am very confused right now. Because you get to really have access. Like now, I'm not too sure whether is there an access but then I can just go down there because on this direction that brings me to the lake and can I just go over to the lake like this? Seems like it. If that's true, right? Whoa. That immediately just craft the lifestyle for the residents here already. So within one same street, you don't have to really take a, any turn actually, you just go straight all the way right? Within 5 minutes, you will reach Southbury already, so that's a commercial area And this is actually Prima Fort, where you have all the food court, then you have the CME Bank, McDonald's, Starbucks is here And Deep House is just around the corner And this is Cyber Jaya already, where all the MNCs are located So, if you were to work in Cyber Jaya itself right, quite a no-brainer actually where your distance from home is awesome the level of infrastructure in terms of road in terms of landscape in terms of connectivity Oof. now let's go check out the lake so after coming out to the main road we are now driving along Persiaran Tase and you just look into the level of infrastructure, right? The street line frequency is amazing. You look into all the landscape treatments are all decorated. You look into the walkways, you look into the buffer given. It's not supposed to be for families or for wellness for you to cycle around the lake. And now there is access into it. Let's go check it out. You know what? It's beautiful here. And this is something that is very very underrated. A lot of people don't even know that there are fabulous park gardens, lake gardens, public areas available within Cyber Jaya and Putra Jaya that it's absolutely open for public. Great place for families to hang out and it's absolutely free. Maybe sometimes there will be fee where it's like 2 ringgit, 3 ringgit is easily cheaper than our car parks back in the city, right? And here, it's actually surrounded by all the landed developments already so there will be eco glades Then this one, I don't know, is some expensive homes like you just think about living next to the lake, right? Wow! Meaning, right, at this level, you don't really need to be in a city anymore you can just live within proximity maybe you need to go meeting in that building once every week right that's going to be such an awesome lifestyle also something to point out the entire experience going into the project just now it really feels like a resort the choice of plants the entire pavers for the roads the only thing that hinders the project seriously is the incomplete project at the front well that's out of the jurisdiction of owners right too bad seriously too bad and i guess that's all for today it's now time for sean's take three on three so for the three things i like number one will be the setting of the project itself so 
it's located at this little corner in between main roads, right? Persiaran, Tase, and the Cyberjaya Putrajaya Highway. Also at the boundary of the lake. So from the unit that we see just now, we really get to enjoy the lake view. And something great about the lake is you get proper ventilation. The wind condition is going to be fabulous, very comfortable. And the view is guaranteed it will be secured. So you will always have that opening in the front. Therefore, the density is also controlled. And if you need to go to KL, this highway actually connects over to several main highways. But if you work in between Cyberjaya or Putrajaya, right, it's perfect. Lah. So you have accessibility, you will have the lake, you will have the public infrastructure that is amazing. And surrounding the project is all mature trees. It truly feels like a resort when you enter the development all together. So the overall setting is just awesome. The second thing I like is actually the current value for money. If you just think about it, if you don't really need to be in the city, as we discussed a lot about this topic, right? Options like this are just awesome. You just think about 1,005. This is just a cost for a room in KL City. Now you actually have an entire unit all together, all to yourself. And just imagine a couple living here, on the evening, you just have an evening stroll. You can just go to the nearest mall, which is Deep House or Alamanda if you want to. You get to enjoy the absolute privacy of things at a fraction of the price. But of course, if you were to talk about the initial investment that these buyers made, right? Then too bad, lah, right? They didn't foresee that the neighbor will be abandoned and the rental around will not be as high. But as we often discuss within the channel, job opportunities drive rental rates, and there's not much need within this area to drive up temporary need of space. The entire setting of that area right, is more of a family setting where they can just raise their kids. School is nearby, commercial area is nearby, daddy works in the hospital nearby, mommy works in the office nearby. Good for everybody. So if you are to rent here, awesome. If you want to invest here, not so good lah. The last thing I like will be this design of duplex. Because recently we just visited one within Cheras area. So this is the total opposite of it where the full height is 6 meters the width is actually 4 meters so it's very comfortable and they can only do that because of the abundance of space they don't have to really stack on one another you know the building will be extremely high and the privacy per floor plate is only 8 units so that's very nice and they have 2 bathrooms one in the ground floor one in the upper floor and for the upper floor unit they actually added a partition wall at the edge instead of leaving it open initially I didn't like it but you just think about it right if I were to have visitors at home and my wife is actually sleeping upstairs it makes a lot of sense. Then in terms of plug points, it's abundant and in terms of openings, they are very generous with it. So I still prefer the floor plate attached into the inner wall instead of the facade line because I prefer the double height volume at the front end. Ultimately, that's why we pay to Plexus for. We don't want a very high space for the kitchen, right? I want a very high space for my living. For the three things I don't like, number one will be the location. So this location is really not very convenient if you were to work in Jalan Tun Raza. If you are supposed to work, report in office in KL or in PJ every single day, right? The distance from this location away from that is then really a bit too far. Although the highway is connected, but it's all about time. Uh. And that leads to the second point. The product placement does not really match the location. Like, whatever we see right next to us right now is all this luxury landed homes and it's not cheap uh, easily it's a million nine hundred thousand within this area itself this is a better match of product with target audience instead of a duplex because duplexes based on experience so far it always work only in urban areas like Mon Chiara or Cheras or within the city itself right products like this work very very well because people cannot afford to have luxury in terms of area but they want to have luxury in terms of volume so a 763 square feet can easily be a three bedroom two bathroom unit within a KL address setting but for high income individuals they prefer quality of space instead of quantity so a duplex works perfectly for them but there are very limited number of tenants like that within this location itself. Even if you are such a tenant, right? What is stopping you from renting an entire semi here or a landed house here instead of cramping yourself within a narrow duplex here? So it's really a mismatch of product to the target audience within this location itself. Because if I cannot afford but I need space for my family, the home sale will be perfect. As I travel to work every day, it's fine. The family gets to enjoy this amazing surrounding. That's why as mentioned just now if you don't really need to be in the city then this is a great option actually but that leads to the third point 
like this location itself you will always need to drive out for convenience so in terms of the micro site location yes you have a school outside but you still need to drive walking distance a bit too far even walk to the lake is actually too far you will need to drive out to commercial areas but within cyber jaya besides the school hours right it's not going to be too bad of a traffic but ultimately let's point out to the elephant in the room right the abandoned project next door truly affected the project like you just think about it right the entire experience back home is so eerie it's so dark because of the project not completed i cannot install lights i cannot do anything like practically and for the units that's facing the abandoned houses right buta buta kena man. and the worst thing is there's nothing they can do so it's very sad to see things like this and the only thing that can hope for is a new developer to come in and take over the entire site from the previous one and that takes up eight to ten months time just to hand over itself but this has been around for a very very long time already so the odds of that happening right plus in an area where land is not really in demand so that's a problem itself <sighs> sad huh whoa look at that this will be the weekend activities if you were to stay here <laughs> wakeboarding i think it's called anyway i guess that's all for today's episode if you really like this episode like it share it, and even subscribe for more information like this until next time this is sean tan ciao